So welcome, I'm uh, Livio Cucuzza, Chief Design Officer of Macintosh Group, and I'm here at CES24 to introduce Suprema uh, loudspeakers. So this is the uh, unveiling of uh, Suprema, our most ambitious uh, project. Um, it took uh, almost three years in development to do the complete uh, uh, design of uh, the speakers, the drivers, the crossover, and all the new technology we have in it. Uh, the reason why we did Suprema is because we wanted to celebrate our R&D department and the uh, uh, know-how we acquired in the last years. We are now able to design drivers completely from scratch. Uh, any components must, can be designed by us. And uh, uh, the reason why this speaker exists is to incorporate all this know-how in a, in a reference package. Uh, first of all, we decided to, to have a system uh, made of four columns, and there is a reason for this. We wanted to keep uh, speed and precision on the upper base um, using small drivers, 8-inch drivers on the main columns, um, and uh, have separate subwoofer for the infra base. Uh, there is also a reason why the speaker, the two columns, has different shape. Um, we used our heritage uh, design to, to make the speaker. Uh, Sonos Faber was founded around the idea of the lute shape design, which is the best uh, to limit uh, internal uh, reflection, but also to make the speaker disappear. But also Sonos Faber was famous for the elliptical shape we, we introduced with Stradivari back in the day. And that shape is pretty good to enhance the bass impact. So we decided to use those two shapes to uh, make the design of the speaker. So the subwoofer is, uh, is uh, almost elliptical shape, while the main column is, uh, is a classic loose shape. Um, the, the new uh, technology in the speaker starts from uh, the mid-range, what we call uh, camellia, because it has this uh, flower uh, shape. As you can see, the membrane is not uh, rounded, and this is to avoid the classic uh, edge deflection of, uh, of the cone, plus the suspension is added behind the, the uh, membrane, so the membrane is completely exposed to the listener. The membrane was designed by us, the pulp of the membrane was designed by us. It's all uh, natural uh, pulp, uh, paper pulp. Um, but most importantly, the driver is powered by a dual drive motors, which is the first time for a mid-range. Uh, what means uh, is that instead of having uh, just one magnet and one coil, you have one man magnet and two coils which are acting in push-pull. So one is pushing, the other one is pulling. Uh, this is helping a lot to have uh, speed, dynamic and accuracy. Um, and, and it is the first time uh, of, a, of a dual drive applied on a, on a mid-range. Plus, we are using our uh, double tweeter that uh, we already used in the Arena Theater uh, speakers, which are ensuring uh, high power handling, plus the super tweeter is able to go up to 40 hertz, 40 kilohertz. Uh, and uh, everything uh, in the mid-high section is loaded in this enclosure. Uh, this is uh, probably the, the, the one of the biggest innovation of this speaker, and this is something that we want to use in the future. Um, Sonos Faber is, is famous for the natural materials and the organic shapes. Uh, the only way to obtain a full organic shape out of a natural material was to use cork. Uh, cork, uh, uh, in, this in this case, is recycled, so it's a completely sustainable solution, plus it has amazing acoustic properties. So with the design of the, of the piece, we are able to uh, avoid any uh, damping material inside the, inside the enclosure because the material itself, it's already damping the, the mid-high frequencies. Uh, and plus, um, we, we, we have uh, an internal structure that is destroying the, the, the uh, reflection, making the, the back, uh, uh, firing of, of, of the driver, uh, like uh, virtually perfectly loaded. Um, the, the main column is a five-way design, so we have a super tweeter, tweeter, mid-range. We have a link driver that is basically doing the job between the mid-range and the woofers. 
and all the four buffers are working together uh, and they are a dual drive design too. Uh, both the cabinets are made in uh, two different materials. We have our uh, classic uh, plywood, multi-layer wood for the front uh, part, plus we have uh, sandwich carbon fiber for the back. Uh, on the back, as you can see, there is also a two-way speaker. Uh, this speaker is helping to create the right uh, ambience and the right sound stage, uh, integrating the dispersion of the front, front fire and drivers. Uh, you have four controls on the back. Uh, the first one from the bottom is a mechanical control. Moving this, I will tilt the mid-high section to adjust the position of the two tweeters to the listener. Uh, plus, I have controls on the uh, mid-range, the tweeters, and the rear, uh, rear uh, drivers. Uh, talking about the subwoofer, this is a completely passive design. There is no crossover inside. Um, it's made with uh, two super powerful 15-inch drivers neodymium uh, magnets and carbon fiber sandwich membrane uh, and the cross the um, sub subwoofers work together with the electronic crossover on the top of the rack um, which is um, designed by us to be full analog uh, discrete components uh, old-fashioned uh, circuit so there is no digital um, conversion and there is no op amps, there is, uh, the, everything is uh, resistor and capacitors, basically. Um, we have uh, the possibility to control uh, dual slope, so one slope and a second slope for the, for the uh, low pass, plus we have uh, the level control, phase control, and also we have an optional, uh, an optional, uh, an optional high pass if you want to cut the main, uh, the main speakers on the base to obtain even more uh, acoustic pressure. Um, this, the, the system is sold all together. Uh, you have the option to buy one or two subwoofers, but uh, the system was designed to work as a 2.1 or 2.2 system. Um, everything is powered by Macintosh. In particular, we have uh, the new 2.1K, uh, which are debuting today as well, um, and the 75th anniversary, 1.25. Hi, I'm Charlie Randall, president of Macintosh Laboratories, and we're here at CES 2024. And I'd like to talk to you and explain to you a little bit about the new products that are here um, for CES and launch of this year. Macintosh, the company, was started in 1949. So 2024 will mark our 75th anniversary. And there's multiple products coming out throughout the year that'll commemorate the 75th anniversary. The first one is the 2.1 KW. It will replace the existing 2 KW. There's um, quite a few enhancements to the unit to um, bring it up to the 2.1 KW standard that we wanted. Primarily, the big thing is the capacitor bank. We doubled the filter capacitors, which what that means is um, double the filter capacitance means twice the dynamic headroom. So very good explanation or why you do that is these are actually driving the Suprema subwoofers. And obviously, being solid state, double the headroom gives you a lot faster response for low end. And then throughout... Later on in the year, we'll be bringing out the C12000 um, in its 75th anniversary markings along with the 1.25 KW and also the MCD so you can actually formulate your own 75th anniversary system that will only be available throughout 2024. 